Welcome to Shani's World. These are just my thoughts with a comedic side of humor. But if you're cool with your girl, go fool with your girl. Appreciate you for dropping by. Dance club. Baby, look, I saw the funniest subtitle, and it read, Chinese Zoo admits pandas are painted dogs after outrage. And I just, my head started spinning. It said, damn it, Gina. Damn it, Gina. Boy, y'all will make up any lie to get somebody's money. Now, allegedly, I would like to leave with this. I'm getting so many different speculations of this story. I'm getting that the Chinese knew that these were being passed off as pandas. They knew it was dogs, and the guests that were attending the zoo knew that these were dogs that looked like pandas. On the other end, I'm hearing... No, they really tried to mislead people, took people's money, and the only reason why they're fixing up the rumor is because people are outraged. Both of them could hold some truths, but either way, it's amusing to me, so we're going to dig down that rabbit hole, baby. Let me get right on into it. Now, China is very smart. You know, they do stuff, China, Japan, Tokyo, um, Ta Taiwan, those places are like three decades ahead. So when y'all dropped the ball on this one, I said, uh-uh, baby. What in the world in the say whatness is going on here? <laughs> when you know your animals, you know doggone well. A dog can never pass off as a panda. They don't even have the same body build. You can do what you want with whatever you think you're doing. But, baby, the moment that the dog go like this... <laughs> Or go roof. You know, at that moment, the panda ain't doing nothing like that. Every time we go to the zoo in our state, and we see the panda on the tree just like this. The panda is not sitting there panting. The panda is not sitting up there looking like it want a doggy bone. The panda is eating leaves just like this. Every zoo I've went to, a panda is just sitting there. Panda don't even make eye contact. So you got to be crazy if you think you're going to pass the dog off as a panda and... I'm going to be like, oh, yeah, that's a panda for real. Now, regardless of what they want us to believe or what it really is, they are stating that this Shaneway Zoo had this exhibit. In this exhibit, these so-called pandas were supposed to be, like, native to China, and it was like a international symbolism of the country. And y'all know... That's what a lot of people go to the zoo for is that main attraction because those are really protected animals. Because, again, it's the country's thing to go to. People from all across the world come to look at that thing or those group of animals, right? So when the visitors was minding their own business just looking at the animals at the exhibit, they were like, yeah, yeah, I see, I see panda, I see panda. I see giraffe, I see giraffe. I see elephant, elephant. And then when they got... Closer to the panda exhibit, that was like, well, wait a minute. Well, what you say this is? Ha! This no panda, this dog. And that's when they said, well, wait a minute. Y'all took my money, and now y'all trying to act funny? So, one of the dang on alleged pan dogs came closer to the gate, y'all. When the dog came closer to the gate, it was resting on a rock, just chilling. Baby, the dog, the other, the other dog, panda, panda was just walking around the resort like this. Where have you ever seen a panda hitting you with one of these walks on four legs on the ground? If anything, the folks is walking on their knuckles. They walking, they walking like penguins. They doing something. Baby, come on, stop playing. I don't know if y'all watch Animal Planet, but you know how a panda stands. You know how a dog lays and sits and licks and, and look and just like. Now, there were people who was like, is this a joke? Like, is this an April Fool's joke? Is this real? And then some people was like, oh, no, y'all gonna have to run me my money back. Because this is misleading. And by all means, that's why I said, I don't know which side of the spectrum is on. Did China just have somebody say this will be a funny idea and they went along with it? Or did they really just not have any pandas for the exhibit and they needed the attraction? They needed the, the, the foot the foot traffic to come. So they went ahead and said, you know what? By all means necessary, we're going to have to change these really chihuahua-looking dogs into pandas because we need this money because we got bills, Gina. 
Which side of it? Because somebody lying. And for you guys to come out and admit it, allegedly, let's pop that allegedly fan. Then that means somewhere, somewhere down the line, somebody said, give me my money back. Give me all my little money back. But this is what makes me think that this could have held, held some truths that everybody was like, you know what, this is good. It's, it's going to, we're going to get publicity because everybody's doing things for clickbait. This is going to be good. Even though it's not going to sit well with some people, it's still going to make us trend. And then people are going to want to see what else we got to buy sleep. That's how people think about marketing these days because it's, it's emotional. But other people are stating that they visited the zoo before and that they also have been misled with other, you know, animals. So maybe this is just something that they do. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they're just trying to get people engaged and, and, and emotionally involved. And so they said this will be fun. Now, this is what some representative from the zoo said. They said initially they did claim that the animals were a rare breed of panda dogs. What in the hell? Y'all ugly ass need to sit down. Ain't no such thing as a panda dog. Anyway. Now, they've admitted that there's no such animal that exists. The zoo officials told the Chinese state media they had advertised them as panda dogs and they did not intentionally mean, uh, mean to mislead anyone. But y'all know that title is going to make people say, panda dogs? But y'all some of the smartest people in the world, so I'm like, y'all should have had a disclaimer. You know how when I come on my videos, I say, disclaimer? Y'all should have did that so if they paid their money, they knew that it was just a joke. You cannot put that out there as panda dogs and then people pay their money in hopes that it's just a rare breed. Whether they looked at the dictionary or looked at the encyclopedia or just look at Google, you still make them feel that they were seeing something exclusive. And that's what you call a lie. Now, they said the journalist asked them, well, why... And who invented this idea of coming up with the name Panda Dogs? <sighs> and those folks basically don't have an answer. In so many words, they just went along with something that looked like they could get away with it. And now it's kind of like people that really, 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 really love animals, they might feel like you guys painting the dogs was abuse to dogs. Like you, you started one lie and now you, you're getting... You're getting all types of bad reviews about how those dogs feel in that type of exhibit because people love animals, baby, especially dogs. Somebody said it's not funny at all to dodge uh, chow, ch uh, chow chow dogs to attract tours. Um, somebody else said that when you change the coats and you interfere with the coat of those dogs, it can make them prone to having skin diseases. See what I'm saying? People are now looking further into it, and now they like, uh-uh, we need to launch, we need to get the BBB involved for China. I don't know what y'all call it in China, but over here in America, when they feel like you're doing bad business practices, baby, they get to putting all types of notes, baby. Now, with all of this that the tourists are talking about with their emotions, Somebody, a representative for the zoo, said that no of the do none of the dogs, aka pan dogs, were hurt. None of the dyes did any harm to their fur, and that you know this was just something that just went way too far. When I say these folks took over the internet, this is all I saw trending for the past like several hours. And when they said that that jump went viral, baby, see what I say when you do stuff for likes. You have no control over stopping that fire when it gets taken out of control and out of proportion. Like, people's perspective is now going to be like, no, nah, I don't even fool with China zoos, man. They just be making any type of animals. See, that's how I feel like y'all did with COVID. Y'all knew y'all brought that over. But you know what? That's neither here nor there. We're not even going to go that route. But if you keep lying, then people ain't going to trust you when you need them to trust you. And you're going to lose more money. Because now they feel like you have the animals there. They're going to be like, wait a minute. Is that a real animal or you lied to us again? Y'all better sit down and change y'all behavior like my son say. Change your choices. If you got to lie or you just got to jokingly mislead people just to bring people in the doors, baby, you're going to lose business because word of mouth is business. You hear me? But that's just y'all business, baby, because I'm over here trying to figure out my business. And I don't want to mislead nobody because it put a bad taste in people's mouth. But I am just a messenger. It's your girl, Shani B. If you're cool with your girl, go fool with your girl. 
Make sure you check out my website, www.shinybeentertainment.com. Yes! Check out the fan gear option to drop donations. No pressure to do either of those two because I do see your likes, shares, and comments, man. And it means the world to me. Because y'all can be anywhere, but y'all come keep me company. And that's why I go so hard uh, to push, you know, what I'm talking about. But uh, let's hop in them comments. Again, if you know your animals like I know my animals because I'm really engaged with the Animal Planet channel, then you would notice when you heard the name Pan Dogs, you'd be like, that, that ain't even real. That ain't even real. But I get it. People just love something that sounds different. People just want to get out the house. People just want to do something that's different. So when you have this pop up and it goes viral, more people are like, well, I want to go and see because I want to be fooled in person. And some people are like, I'm just interested to read about it. So you getting all types of on you getting on foot traction through your resort to your, your exhibits at your zoo, and you getting online traction to the name of this zoo. And it's good publicity and it's bad publicity. But if you're gonna have people second guessing doing business with you, then you losing on the backside. Cause don't nobody like no lie, because a lie don't care who tells it. So just be honest. And if you're gonna do something like that for fun, just to you know lighten the mood. Put a disclaimer at the bottom. Say, these are not real pandas. Pan dogs don't exist. No animals or the fur on the animals were hurt or harmed during the making of this situation. That way, if they spend their money, then they did it because they just was curious and they thought it was cute. Versus you saying, this is a pan dog. And then people are like, pan dog? Pan dog. And then they rush out there and then you lie. And now they want their money back. Because people are going to want their money back. You heard me? But y'all know how to do business because y'all China. You don't them out. But stop playing with people's emotions because they don't like that. And I'm telling you that over here from America. Now, I am just the messenger, y'all. <laughs> so until next time. <laughs> next story. And I'm out this piece.